We're at the lake today. We are about to do some scuba diving at this ultra busy dive park. Or, sorry, swim park. What do you call this place? It's a really busy beach. I'm imagining a lot of people are losing stuff. Got my buddy Scott. Hey, what's up? Between the two of us, I'm hoping we can find some really awesome stuff. I'm gonna make sure this boat behind me doesn't run into us. You guys good? Without further ado, let's get in the water. Here we go, guys.
kind of fishing pole, man. Nice. A few pairs of sunglasses and a scrunchie. Oh, you found? Okay, cool. Yeah. I found this jar. Can't wait to drink out of this. It's got the mussels on it. And... It's so sad that I was drinking pearls that they found broke. Uh, if it's any consolation, I don't think they were real pearls. <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> We're done with a dive. I found a few interesting things. Welcome to my shop. I got this snorkel. It's one of the first things I found. This pair of sunglasses, it reminds me of like a cartoon from the 90s that I used to watch. Bobby's World. I remember that remember show, Bobby's yeah. Bobby's mom or like grandma or aunt or something? This is Bobby's mom or aunt, whoever that is. I'll put a picture of what I'm talking about right here if I can find it. Somebody lost their prescription reading glasses. Oh, wow. That actually helps my vision, like for close-ups. You might want to set up an appointment. Screw the appointment, I got something that works. MM Collision sunglasses, Crush Eyes, Starry Sky. I got myself a scrunchie. These are back in style. I, I like think. that. Hold on, say that again. <laughs> that was super creepy. I'm not gonna be like, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that cave was awesome. Just a blackness in front of you and you don't know how far back it goes. Yeah. That was creepy. I also found this hat, which I'm wearing right now because I lost my hat that I came with today. It's like a hat that I used to have that my dog chewed up and it hides my scuba hair. My best find was this Eagle Claw Brave Eagle five foot casting medium. It feels like a nice rod. It still turns. I actually might clean this up a little bit, give it to my son. We're gonna graduate him to a five footer. This thing's pretty nice. All right, we're back at the house. I got this old crusty fishing pole and I'm gonna get it cleaned up, brand spanking new, give it to my son as a gift because he's been begging me for a bigger fishing pole. Before we get this thing cracked open and cleaned up, I'm gonna show you guys my new favorite wallet and the sponsor of today's video, Ridge Wallet. You might have heard about these. This is the Ridge Wallet. Uh, it's super light, sleek, industrial, and it doesn't fold or leave an awkward bulge in your back pocket. It has seriously changed my whole pocket situation. Most people are still using wallets that were designed in like the 90s, and they're just carrying around all kinds of stuff they don't need. Old receipts, gift cards, hotel keys, and it's just a big disorganized mess. Why have we moved from huge old flip phones to smartphones, but we're still carrying around the same wallet? The Ridge Wallet holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. I've been using mine for a couple of months now, and I honestly cannot imagine going back to what I had before. Um, I love the minimalist concept, and over 30,000 people have left five-star reviews on their website. This thing is built like a tank. Uh, it has these little screws that you can actually take out and swap out parts, like you can swap this money clip out for a money strap. And each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty, so you could literally buy this thing once and carry it for the rest of your life. There are over 30 different styles and colors to choose from from including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. It's made with RFID blocking technology, so I don't have to worry about all those digital pickpocketers as I'm walking around town. The Ridge team is so confident you're gonna love this wallet, they're gonna let you test drive it for 45 days, and if you don't love it, just send it back, they'll give you a full refund. The one I'm using is the titanium gunmetal with the money clip on the back, and I love how super secure all my cards and cash are, but also how super simple it is to access anything inside. Look at that. I can see every single card right there. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash manplusriver. That's ridge.com slash manplusriver and use code manplusriver. I put a link down in the description for you guys to make it easier for you. All right, let's go get this pole ready for my son. All right, let's take this thing apart. Ooh. Ooh. Smells like clay. Like from art class, like clay from art class. His name is Clay. He was in my seventh grade art class. Okay, let's see, is there a way to, oh. I really don't know much about fishing poles. This is probably, I'm probably not the right person for the job, but uh, I'm gonna figure it out. There's the nasty old line. Let that soak a bit. Oh yes. Man, this looks like brand new. I don't see any boogers left, do you? Should have got the microphone down here. We can get some little ASMR action. This is actually really uh, therapeutic. Now you might be asking, is it really worth all the extra effort 
and time to uh, be polishing up and cleaning up all the little intricate pieces of a $15 fishing pole? And the answer to that question is probably not. If you're a fisherman, leave a comment down below and let me know uh, what the biggest fish or the craziest fish story that you ever had happen to you. I wanna hear some awesome stories. Let's put some brand new fishing line on there. Uh-oh, it's turning, but it's not reeling. I gotta have it grab it better. 